Hey, what's up guys, Ender Extremist here from EnderExtremist.com right now with Google Nexus 4 and today I'm going to review Sanity my 10.1 ROM for your Nexus 4. Let's go ahead and get to this ROM. In order to, for you to get this ROM, you need to be rooted and custom recovery installed. So if you're not rooted and custom recovery installed, you can watch this video and see all the goodies that this ROM offers. Now let's go ahead and start with the system setting. Now I've been running this ROM for quite a while and been running it nightly every day since it comes out. And uh, as you can see right there, that's the 4.2.2 Android version and that's the latest Android that Google has to offer for Nexus 4. Now, all the features that I'm going to cover are the one that I think useful for me and yourself. So, this is the feature that combines in four categories and the tab is called Interface. So let's go ahead and start going deeper into feature. Now, first of all, is the launcher. It's called comes with two boost launcher, their own launcher. And here we go, home screen drawer. That's app drawer, dock, and general. Under home screen, you will find all the grid sides and all different options. If you want search bar to be enabled or disabled, I don't like search bar there. If you want page indicator, fair indicator, and all that options that I really don't use or rarely use when I need it to be an app drawer right here. App drawer. Yes, app drawer. Sorry. That is the app drawer. You can find it right there. And change the transaction effect. Let's go ahead and select cylinder out. Now, I really don't use launcher that much because I use no launcher. Now, second option you can go ahead and browse is launch launch lock screen. Ah, I can't speak today, but comes with security, background, battery status, clock widgets, maximize widgets, and slider shortcuts. Now, slider shortcuts is what previously used to be called targets. Right there, comes with four or five. Let's see. Yeah, five preloaded targets, and those are the most useful targets that are there. You can add more targets if you want. Once you're done, you can press save button, it will save. Now go ahead and hit the back button, and you will be into back menu again. Now, here you can go ahead and check clock widgets out, and here you will present it with weather panel, calendar event. So if you got some calendar event going on, it will be displayed on your lock screen. So you can enable and disable from going into there. And display next event that will enable and there's a different customization feature for that particular feature now I'm gonna go back go back and uh, this is it for the lock screen you can go ahead and always mess around with more features if you want to use it I really don't use that much features now again that theme you will see your sound of my 10.1 looks different than mine that is because I have the cobalt theme running you can go ahead and download different themes. This is what the actual ROM comes with. So once you finish running, I mean, download the theme from Play Store. The easiest way to install it is press that button on top. Once it says app, there is error, theme error. Just press apply anywhere and it will switch to the latest theme that you have. Now system is the main key feature which combines a lot of different sub menus in there. Now here we go, starting with status bar. Status bar, you can put so clock or no so clock. If you if you have other things that use your status bar, you can go ahead and select, deselect. I don't like EMPM, so I have none. Battery percentage, that's the battery style I have. Then signal, I have text because it impresses a lot of different people when they look at my phone and they don't see signal, but it just says the right there, 95 or 89 negative. That's because I don't have SIM card right now, but that you that's my signal icon looks like brightness control. You can adjust brightness by sliding across the status bar. Oops. For me, I need practice to do that. I just selected and never used it because now if you got a lot of notification coming up, you can always select show notification count, which will give you notification count. Quick setting panel. Now here you can select how the quick pull down is going to be right left auto close panel tiles and layout you can always add layouts or tiles depending on what you want mobile data 
and if you want to reset it press that button it will be reset it and press ok i don't want to reset it these are the tiles that's how it's going to look when you go pull down and go to down there those are your tiles and we're going to go ahead and go to our next feature which is going to be let me zoom out a little bit so you can see better go ahead and press back and sound mod like what do you like vibrate sound i i like vibrate and sound both so i press that and press ok network mods whichever you like you can select it down screen timeout if you want longer screen timeout you want that then dynamic tiles are not always visible and will only show off if triggered so if these are triggered it will show up if you want them to show up you can select it i really don't want the bug report and i am e changer to show up so i have it off expandable oops we are missing the notification drawer right here is all the stuff you can do in your notification drawer widget buttons widget button orders and close drawer however you want to change it you can go ahead and mess around right there next one we got is expanded desktop if you want that and what it's gonna do status bar visible or status bar hidden disable it if you don't want it power menu is all this feature that gets you in power menu now we disabled the extended desktop menu so that's why it's gone out of your power menu next thing up is clock widgets again we talked about this under lock zone same thing you go out and mess around with it and get to know that feature widely next one up is notification light and this is really awesome you don't need to use that light led light flow or the application that you download from play store this one already comes with it all you need to do is press plus and and put any application you like and select different color like press there press there and press ok and that's the different color now if you want miss call it's gonna be my red my messaging is gonna be white that's what impress you because i like colors and that's another way to impress all your phony friends who has iPhones. Then you get battery light enable buttons and layout. That's where I got my menu button from. This press what was that pressing? Right there. And you can add different button. Press right here in the corner. Select whichever button you like and press that button. It will save it. I don't really want another button, so I have four buttons and i'm good with it you can check out all the layouts and all the features and there are instruction on how to do that right there too so pause the video and take a look at it too quick launch sort codes if you want from right here that's google now like when you go that's google now only now if you want to select something else you can always select application you can select that and you will have three options one two and three and press save sorry i didn't press save that's why there was the three options now there there you go there are the three options that are you will see now pi control which i really don't use it so if you want to use it go ahead and feel free to go in there and turn it on and mess around with it i think this phone is too small to use pi control I use my Pi control with this base because it's quite a large and Pi controls are useful when, when you're running Note 2. Now, next up is your all the application that comes with this ROM. All of them are themed depending on what theme you're running. These are the application it comes with. DSP Manager is really awesome. Eco Booster. You can always play around with it and get to know the application and use it however you like. Apollo Music Player is one of the unique music player that this ROM has to offer. And it's really awesome to see different features and different stuff that comes in regular ROM. Now sound recorder. There you go, that's your own custom sound recorder too. It comes with Torch and all that application file manager, their own file manager. You don't need a root file manager like root explorer, ES explorer, because this is all in one right there. This was my review on Sanogema 10.1 for a Google Nexus 4. 
feel free to criticize me and leave a comment below and let me know where I should improve. Always love to hear from my audience. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And I will see you in the next video. We do have a giveaway coming up. So make sure you go ahead and sign up for that onto the video that will be linked on this video. Thank you for watching, guys.